I'm Lucy, welcome to my channel. You might have found me through my Instagram page or my TikTok and if you've just stumbled across me then hello, welcome to my channel, it's really lovely to meet you. I am going to be taking you inside our little thatch cottage in Wiltshire and showing you around. So let's go inside. So you might see that we have some little paint swatches on the front door. That's because we're currently choosing a paint to go on the front of the cottage. Now on the exterior of the cottage, it's become really tired and the paint's chipping away and it's really in need of a bit of TLC. We so are currently deliberating over front door paints and um, these two are the favourite at the moment. Let me know what you think in the comments if you've got a preference. Let's go inside. So, welcome into our cottage. This is our living room and it's currently baby-proofed, um, hence the <laughs> tea towels my husband's um, wrapped around there. This is actually uh, an original fireplace and it's got um, these holders on it are to put like a poker on so you can like poke at the fire. The fire is currently not in use for a number of reasons um, and that's something that we might sort out in the future. Um, this is our TV slash book area. We had this built a couple of weeks ago, so it's really new for us. Um, I absolutely love it. I wanted it done since we moved in. The main reason I wanted it done was because before, you might remember if you've seen on my Instagram stories, um, we had a dresser in here and it, the dresser basically, I would say it came, came up to here. This is very, very deep. This is, gosh, it's a good, nearly a metre long how like deep the wall is here um, but anyway the baby just kept uh, pulling herself up on the dresser pulling the drawers and it just it was so unsafe um, so we got this built in which is perfect height for her um, everything's pushed back so she can't reach it we've got a secured door so she can't get in there and um, you know it's just safe uh, Papa come say hello you've been a good girl <laughs> Yeah, she's been a very good girl. She's been helping me in the garden today, haven't you? And we have just had a little tidy round because I was doing this video to be totally transparent. Um, so yeah, that's uh, this mirror was actually, my mum put it up here, she painted it. It was um, originally I think my grandma's and it was really dark brown. And um, yeah, she's really good at it, if you can see around the sides. She's really good at painting and distressing things to make them look old. It's not an old mirror. Um, I mean, it looks quite old actually because it's got mottled glass, but I don't think it's old. Um, and it looks so nice here after you put it up. We've just kept it. Um, I might change it at some point, but for now, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Um, <laughs> you'll know this high street um, if you know the Cotswolds. If you recognise it, drop me a comment below. Um, it's one of my favourite places and it's actually just a short drive from our old village um, and when we moved, which we're, you know, we're about an hour's a a drive away from here now, I just had to have a memory of it um, whilst we're living here. Um, this is a cat tower, that's for the cats, and we've positioned it behind our cuddle seat purely so our daughter Tabitha doesn't terrorise the cats. She doesn't really though, does she? She's actually a very good girl. And you are a very good girl with her as well, aren't you? You are. Okay, where should we go next? Um, should we look at some more artwork? This is my great-grandfather's farmhouse in Derbyshire. It's still there. I've never been, never seen it, but um, it was something that I inherited. And um, I just think it's lovely and I have it up in here as you know, inspiration for our future and what we might do in life. Um, not that we're ever going to own a farm, that's not what I mean. I just mean, you know, to be successful because there's a really lovely story um, around that. So basically the story behind the picture, I'm gonna sit down for this, is um, that my grandfather, he had no money, my great grandfather, sorry, had no money and was not doing well in life um, at all and uh, made his fortune in his later years. So I think he was late 40s, maybe early 50s. Um, and I've just found that really inspiring to be honest because it just makes me think 
anything's possible, age is just a number, it's arbitrary really, um, and life is what you make it in many, many ways. Um, and that's why I like to have that picture there, it's just a reminder that um, time is what we've got, so make the most of it. That went really deep, um, <laughs> so let's move on. So down here is our dining room which is currently being used as a storage room so it's got a rug in it it's got cat towers and it's got our dining table um which we're going to upgrade because it's just so small um it really only just fits john and i around it and it'll probably fit tabitha but it's just too small there's my brother's birthday present i'm seeing him at the weekend um and the rest of the room is it's just a real pfft. it's got my husband's desk and things in it so not very exciting. Um, this picture here is quite exciting. My father and I were in Fantastic Beasts 2. Um, Dad's friends with uh, David Yates, who was obviously the director. And in 2017, we got the opportunity to go and be extras in the film. And it was so fun. Um, and you can see us in the... I don't know if you can see this particularly well because of the glare. But you can see us in the movie in the um, circus theme with Najini the Snake. Right, let's go back down this way. I will show you this because I just think it is the cutest thing ever. I had only just started out sort of blogging and doing social media and one of my lovely followers sent me this picture of my hamster Walter who I took a picture of in a teacup, posted it on my page, I don't even know if the picture's still there, you know, um, and they drew it and I just thought it was so, so sweet and that was my first, like, fan mail. Um if you want to call it that, for want of a better word. It just feels weird saying that, but I don't really know what else to call it. But it's just so beautiful. Um, and I think I just wanted to say that anything anyone ever sends me, I'll show you in a minute actually, is on pride of place in the cottage. Right, into the kitchen. So the kitchen is, I don't like it and I'm not happy with it. We've made the best of a bad situation. Um, when we moved in, the floor was, I would say, like this of dust, dirt, um, it was vile and um, I'm just going to turn you around so I can talk to you and my mum and John's mum and my mum's friend Jane were so lovely they came over they cleaned they painted and they just tidied the cottage and made it habitable we had new carpets put down just imagine the whole place was basically mostly gutted um, like on a low level gutting so everything was ripped out uh, like and taken out um and uh i don't like the kitchen it just is impractical for me so um if we come over here you can you can sort of see behind me um there's not much sort of storage space um and i'm struggling a bit with that to be honest um we've got this cupboard in the corner that i can't really access there's nowhere else for the fridge to go um and it's just not working for me the sink is rubbish I don't like it um, and to get more storage space we had these put up which are from my brother-in-law and sister in North kitchen uh, they had their kitchen done and it's so nice and I do get kitchen envy whenever I see it um, but yeah this is what we've got for now and we are planning to get it done and we've actually got an appointment in like a week or so to go into Wix and speak to someone there about kitchens so we'll see how that goes from the kitchen sink you can see into the garden and you can see my beautiful greenhouse and you can also see um, this here which is our garage is awful um, it's not really got anything in it to be honest right now um, and it needs to come down because it's just not really that safe and we're hoping to put a home office up there um, let me just open the door and show you like outside properly so this is the back garden that's the greenhouse and you'll probably have seen that on Instagram or TikTok um and then this area here i mentioned on my um instagram today actually that i want to turn that into a vegetable patch so um when this is done that's what i'm hoping that will be um washing out over there and then this section over here i'm kind of hoping to turn into like a seating area which will be really nice back into back into the house um and this is the bathroom hello and you might have seen on instagram again that we had the bathroom done gosh a couple of months ago now um and it was an absolute nightmare i don't actually want to think about it and do you know what the 
the fact that it's finished is really nice, but it's so bittersweet. Um, I don't know if you will have seen on my Instagram stories, but I will talk you through it anyway. We basically had a plumber come in. Sorry, my cat's scratching behind me. Um, we basically had a plumber come in, and he turned out to be a total cowboy and damaged basically every single element that's in the bathroom. Um, luckily not the mirror, he hadn't put this mirror up, so, you know, that was okay. But he basically damaged everything else and yeah it was just awful so the bath's got dents in it and things i'm really really upset about it but you can't really see them like you know on reflection when you actually look but i know they're there um but yeah it's absolutely stunning um and overall obviously i'm really really happy with it and it's such an upgrade but do you know when something just goes wrong like that and it's just left you with like a bitter taste in your mouth i think that's kind of what's happened here um Obviously, overall, it's a vast improvement and it's lovely now. And we did get a new plumber in called Mark and he was lovely um, and did it really, really well. And I just wish we'd gone with him first. And my only advice is, if you have a bad feeling, which I actually did about the first guy, um, but I'd never really, we'd never really had like workmen in before. So it was all a bit new to me. Um, but if you have a bad feeling, you're probably not wrong and just go with your gut on these things. Ha. Anyway, it's done and uh, I'm really happy with it. And um, that was the finishing touch John put up the other day. It's a picture of Venice. We were planning to go to Venice just as friends um, <laughs> quite a few years ago. I think like nearly 10 years ago. And uh, we, we never did. And um, we still haven't been together. We've both been a few times separately. Um, so yeah, that's there. And you can look at it. <laughs> um, and uh, there's another view outside of the greenhouse. Which is really lovely. Um, one of my favourite things that I've done in here. Um, let's just get the lights back is put this ivy up over the um, bathroom mirror. It's a real ivy. I'm actually asked that quite a lot when people see it. They're always like, oh, is that real? And um, yeah, it's completely real. Um, and I bought it in a really cute shop in, I think, Froome. I've never been. Um, and so, yeah, let's go back out here. Back into the kitchen. There is Boris, my other cat. Hello, sweetie. Hi. And back through into the living room, there's Pepper. You gonna say hello? You gonna say hello? Hello? Hello guys. Hi, aren't you fluffy? Did you come up? Oh, meow, 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 meow. Well, I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna take everyone upstairs and show them our bedroom and Tabitha's bedroom. Would you like to come up and have a look? You can follow me if you like. Righty ho, let's go upstairs. So, something I wanted to show you here was some more fan art that I've had done. Absolutely love it. Um, there's this stunning picture of our old cottage. Um, it just, my heart aches for that cottage sometimes, but it was so small, which is where we moved. Um, there's a picture of Boris and Lily. Oh, and then we got one done of Pepper. And I just think they look so lovely here and they're on the stairs. So we've got some we've got some more fan art up here of our old cottage, which I love. This is the first one we um had done of the cottage. Gosh, it is glary, isn't it, I tell you. Um, and then there's that one there. So let's head on down here into our bedroom. Ooh, sneaky peek. So this is uh, obviously mine and John's bedroom. And I absolutely love it. It's everything I wanted in a cottage bedroom. Um, and I think it's really sweet. I'm thinking of getting, I've got two pictures to put up here, so I think I'm going to get some nice frames and put those up. Um, you'll have seen this wall on Instagram most likely, and if you haven't, you can head over there and have a look at the real. It's really cute because Peppa's in it. Um, yeah, so this is the bedroom. Um, I should probably show you. So I had these um, lovely wardrobes fitted a couple of months ago, and before there was a rail there, and... Um, yeah, it didn't look great. And uh, yeah, this is our view out of the bedroom. So it's very, very green. We do need to cut the hedges there. Um, and then this is our view on the other side. 
it's very pretty and we do need to get a bin storage container put in over there we haven't had that done yet and it is on our to-do list um but yeah it's absolutely stunning i love the room it's really lovely and relaxing um that's a painting my parents had commissioned for our wedding that's our wedding venue and what i really love about it is my dad asked the artist sorry creaky floorboards if you heard that asked the artist to put a picture of um, Boris and Pepper in. I might have to go backwards so you can see it properly. Um, but uh, I absolutely love it and think it's really, really sweet. And it's just a lovely feature in the bedroom. Right, let's go through to Tabitha's room. And this is my darling daughter's bedroom. It is so sweet and it is, I think, mm, probably my favourite room in the house because it's hers and it's just so relaxing and calm. And in the morning she always wakes up and she stood pointing at her owl that we've got here. Isn't he sweet? That was from her um, Auntie Charlotte, who's my husband's, who's John's um, cousin. And this is her bedroom. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what theme she's going to want next, so I obviously chose this. Uh, well, me and John did. And... Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what theme she's going to want next. We've got a few sort of fairy-esque things, and we've got a few um, woodland things, obviously, because this is a woodland theme. Um, we've got lots of fluffy teddy bears. These were mostly mine, um, and my grandma's, actually, so she's inherited all of those. Um, she's got some of my Beatrix Potter books here. There's a lot more in storage. I still need to unpack some boxes. Um, and then she's got some really cute little teddies here that were also mine. Um, I think, yeah, there's this painting here my dad had commissioned and painted for me as well many, many years ago. And, uh, yeah, I love it. I'm not entirely sure who painted it, to be honest. I think it might say on the back. Yeah, it does. Oh, well, that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> I did not even remember that was there. Well, I did, obviously, but, yeah, let's pop that back up. There we go. It's not easy to do these things with one hand, is it? Right. That is the tour of our cottage. Um, let's go back and have a chat in here. Thank you so much for coming on a tour around my cottage. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, next time I might do a garden tour so you can properly see the garden and we can talk through some of the flowers and maybe have a cup of tea and a sit down and a proper chat. That might be really nice. Um, but I thought doing a little tour of the cottage like this, you can see my watching, oh my god. I thought doing a little tour of the cottage like this was a really nice way to start and um, introduce myself and get to know you a lot better as well. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed today's uh, video. There will be lots more to come and uh, have a great, great rest of your day.